I thought I would make a video. Today is a beautiful day. Hopefully you guys are out and about and I'm going to take you guys out to the yard because I know you guys see my videos and I film a lot inside but I do prefer outside and I wanted to show you how big our yard is. It's pretty big. My family went to go visit my grandmother. I will do that but I wanted to take advantage of today because it will probably rain tomorrow. So right here we do have, the, I'm going to show you the first field that I use my rotting mower on. So exciting. <laughs> you guys could take a little walk. I'm a little winded. Even though you use a rotting mower, it's a lot of manual labor. You would think that that riding a mower is pretty easy. I mean, it is easy, but under the sun, it's 94 degrees here in our area and the sun. So this is the first section. This doesn't have any persimmon trees in it. The trees that were here have all died. Maybe one or two is left and we haven't replanted it, but you can see, let me show you. This is how thick the grass is. So to <laughs> get through this grass, it's pretty gnarly. Um, I probably should have other people out here helping me, but like I said, I only have one riding mower right now. So this is as thick as the, the, the grass gets. So if you guys see this, this is, this is no small feat. And this will all grow back in a couple of weeks and I have to do it all over again. So you can understand my frustration with my lawn, my uh, tractor repair guy, but I'm grateful. So this is one section of the property and we're about, um, I think it's a little under four acres on the St. John's River. Uh, my dad, when he was alive, he used to do all of this and I used to think, you know, he must be having a lot of fun, which it is fun for sure, but it's a lot of work, but he was out here every day. He retired early. And so he had, this was his job is to take care of the property. So hopefully this is, um, you can see it. Oh, let me see. I should have brought my selfie stick, but I'm just going to hold my camera here. So I did this. Oh, it's about, I don't know, about three o'clock right now. I've been out here for a couple hours. So this is the first yard with no trees in it. And it's pretty big. We're pretty green over here in, in Florida. Whew. Sorry guys, but I need to take a walk anyway. Um, whew, just cool off. I was wearing long pants, so I didn't. Um, get hit by the briars and you can see I'll just face it this way and talk and this is how long our driveway is got a pretty big long driveway Whew. really 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 and um let me stop for a second I hope you guys are having a good day I really needed to get this done and I didn't want to wait tomorrow. My brother-in-law said he will come and help me, but I'm going to give him, I think I'm doing all the hard stuff. He could get closer to the um, tree line. Um, okay. So there is the house back here and I'm coming up on this pond. We have a man-made pond on the property. Yeah. There's probably all kinds of wildlife in there. I don't know if there's an alligator in there, but let me flip it over. My dad had built a little gazebo. It's a little overgrown. And hopefully the mosquitoes won't come. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I'll try to speak a little bit louder. Um, so behind me is a pond. It's a man-made pond and it's a little overgrown. And you can see I need to get 
to that, but that's going to require a machete and several people. But I love taking the machete out, but I'm not going to do it right now. My mom, my dad, mom and dad actually planted a lot of fruit trees. This is the pomelo tree. So this is a pomelo tree. It's kind of cool. Didn't realize how much, how much work it is. I would take you, I would go on that little, in the gazebo and it looks out into the pond. Um, and I know there's probably an alligator snapping turtle. We had one and they're pretty aggressive. I hear something over there. You guys hear that? I have no clue what that is. You hear that? If anyone knows what that is, let me know. <sighs> right here is a pine tree that is leaning and it needs to come down. It's in our neighbor's yard. So you can imagine when we have storms here, it um, 